Jim Amter, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with their closing grain and livestock comments for April 14th, 2020. Corn market down five and a half up front. Uh, back months held a little better, down two to three. Beans down seven and a quarter. Chicago wheat, Minneapolis, Kansas City, down anywhere from six to 10 cents. Chicago, Minneapolis down six and a quarter, six and a half. Kansas City down 10 cents. Really for the grains today, another kind of washout off the fronts here as we continue to try to uh, figure out whether this market wants to go and put new lows in for corn or maintain. We did uh, maintain for at least now, but not the greatest of closes when we really wanted to see this July corn uh, get above this uh, 336 area and we kind of faded below there. So we'll have to see where tomorrow brings. If we continue to stay below this 336, unfortunately, we potentially open up a 297 price count. So it'd be really nice to see this corn market set up here. Still hold the lows and that's what's important for now. Bean market, wheat market, both on rallies here, both consolidating right now and very important as to what the next step is as to whether we go back test the lows or if we can begin to uh, build on these rallies to some degree. So really some core areas for all these grains. Feeder cattle up 137 and a half, live cattle up 270, hog market anywhere from up 75 to down 167 and a half. So what looked like it could be another washout limit type day after seeing some of the uh, uh, setup from yesterday, we were able to kind of hold on here, reverse and set course for at least holding these bottoms for now. Uh, but the true test is gonna be what's ahead. We are seeing select values uh, firm a bit here in the cattle and that's encouraging to see. Uh, but again, it's all a matter of these packer plants continuing to shut down and this likely to drag on for two to three more weeks yet. So not of the woods by any means yet and a lot to come here as we work ahead. This has been Jim Emter, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation. Have a great afternoon.